hey hi guys welcome back to the channel so we are working on our audio processing series this is gonna be the sixth video uh, previous five videos are already uploaded on our channel so if you are new to the channel please make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update from our channel so in our audio processing series uh, till date we have covered how to load audio in python how to visualize audio in python how to remove noise from an audio how to remove silence from an audio and this gonna be the most important lecture of this particular series in this particular video we were gonna extract mfcc feature from an audio file so without wasting any time let's get started so right now i am into my google collab notebook if you are new to the channel so if you are watching this video first time please go and check out all these previous videos so that you can cope up with this particular video so i have already written code for importing the necessary libraries let's uh, execute it okay i have imported all the necessary libraries then now i have to load the audio file for loading the audio file i'm using librosa library from python uh, we have seen this particular code in the second video how to load audio in python so now it is executing so it successfully added our audio file into this particular program so now we're gonna normalize the audio why there is a need of normalization audio sound can be of different frequencies so before uh, proceeding with the mfcc feature extraction we have to normalize the audio that's why we are using this particular normalized function from librosa and we are saving the particular normalized features into this particular variable and from this particular variable we gonna extract the mfcc feature so let's see how we can extract the mfcc feature from an audio sample so we're gonna use again librosa library so here you can see uh, in librosa we have one mfcc function which will extract mfcc features from your audio sample so this y is my audio sample so I have to uh, give the sample rate of that particular audio which we have already uh, talked about here and the uh, NMFCCs okay so this we're gonna extract with the help of this librosa.feature.mfcc function let's see now we have successfully executed and extracted the MFCC values but whenever we perform any operation related to like speech recognition speech comparison for that we need the temporal information for that now we are gonna calculate the deltas okay so again we are gonna use the librosa only so let's calculate the deltas so first we calculate the delta 1 we will calculate the delta 1 from the mfcc so we were already having this mfcc features right so uh, from that feature we will gonna call the delta uh, so it will create a single feature matrix for this particular mfcc file then from delta 1 we gonna calculate delta 2 so it is a further narrowing of those particular features so we want very specific features so that our audio comparison software or speech recognition software should be perfect there shouldn't be any distortion so now i have calculated deltas from this mfcc features so now let's combine all those things so our result mfcc features will be combination of our old mfcc first mfcc then delta 1 and delta 2 and it is a 
zero axis so let's uh, execute this code so what this code will do it will uh, combine all the mfcc features and it will give you the final output so now we have executed this particular thing now we have got our mfcc features so let's print let's print this particular audio mfcc features let's see how it looks like so you can see these are all our mfcc features so this is how we can extract mfcc features from an audio file uh, before going let's print this mfcc features uh, i have already written the code for printing this mfcc coefficients let's execute so how we can visualize any audio sample i have already teach that particular thing in the part 3 video please watch that video if you want any information about the matplotlib code so you can see uh, we have uh, combined this particular feature now i am printing this particular feature here we are pointing a graph of frames against the coefficients you can see uh, so this is how we can visualize the mfcc features Thank you guys for watching this particular video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe in next video we are gonna see how we can store this mfcc features and how we can compare mcc features from two audio, audio samples so we have already uh, retrieved this mcc features now in next video we are gonna see how we can store these particular samples if you want to create any audio processing uh, application or speech recognition like speech comparison then voice based attendance system if you want to create then you need to save these features and then you can compare those things okay so let's meet in the next video thank you